caution, front car. 70My Omni. It's a motorized dash cam which has the freedom for 360 degree panning and supports a lot of voice commands for hands free operation. Smart, simple, and innovative. Looks like cool tech we want to try out. Let's go! Hey, good day everyone! Nice to meet you on the channel, Michael here, and we're on the go again with footage from 70My Omni, their newest. AI back dash camera which is advertised as a 360 degree capable device. I feel this statement is a little confusing because this is not a spherical camera like the GoPro Hero Max or the Insta360 X series. Uh, the uh, 360 degree coverage is done by the 340 degree panning combined with the 140 degree field of view which covers this wide area. Think of the first generation of 70Mi with the possibility to record in every direction and that's pretty cool. We have seen this idea implemented with some other models, however, I think this is the first one with a motorized solution. And as usual, in this video, a lot of use cases, real life scenarios, we're going to thoroughly cover the hardware and the software and generally everything you need to know about 70My Omni. This is, at the moment of making the review, the company's most advanced smart dash camera and involves a lot of high-end solutions which will guarantee minimum maintenance efforts and pretty much entirely hands-free operation. It also happens to be the priciest model for 70Mi, which, if well executed, should still be a great value pack. Happy to say that if you can catch the crowdfunding campaign, prices started at $99 for the 32GB edition, so before digging into all the new functions, let's unpack and see what we count on. A quite nice package. In fact, I have received two boxes, one with the dash cam and the other one bringing the hardwire kit. This kit is being attached to the fuse box of your car and enabling 24-7 power supply to the camera so that parking surveillance can be triggered in case of an accident or in case of someone moving near the car. Now, the really big thing with this dash cam is the 4G capable hardware kit, which through mobile network connectivity is gonna be able to stream to the app events and let you know of accidents in real time as they happen. At the time I'm working on the review, this hardware kit is not available though. Here's the 70My Omni. View of the future. It sounds like a cool slogan. The dashcam looks like a capsule, well wrapped and protected. A standard dual port USB charger, long USB Type C cable, electrostatic sticker, a pry tool, and the user manual are wrapping up the content in the box. Pretty standard package, but fair to mention that it all comes in style and the presentation is really good. The Omni seems to be well built, totally different when compared to the rest of 70 My's portfolio, and I think it has a very unique design. Small displays included as well, and a few buttons on the side. The head, which is housing the camera, can be rotated. It is the motorized area. Clean, minimalistic design, so let's see what kind of hardware we count on internally. An Omnivision Pure Cell Plus S image sensor with very bright optics, field of view is 140 degrees, there's a capable chipset, inbuilt is a 300mAh battery, flash storage, there is ADAS support, there is GPS, you can count on AI and some voice commands, Wi-Fi module and also connectivity via the smartphone app. You know, recently I've watched a video on the Linux Tech Tips channel about dash cameras the more budget-friendly dash cameras, and as it turns out, most of them are using a rather similar set of components which are fairly outdated. And as opposed to the cameras in that video, I believe the 70My Omni represents some uh, real innovations in uh, some ways, because it's the first time I see this particular image sensor used in a dash camera. And also the ADAS implementation, the AI voice commands, and all the smart features Sounds like something we want to explore further, so let's go ahead, quickly install the camera and see some more real-life footage. I strongly recommend using the electrostatic sticker. It's a layer between the windshield and the dashcam's double-sided tape, which makes removing the dash camera very easy. Find a good spot on the windshield, I would say somewhere right next to the rear view mirror. If you put the camera in front of it, it may block part of the view. So be creative and plan this first. The camera should not distract the driver, must also not block the sight to the side mirrors. The installation is extremely easy, just stick the base, connect the cable and it's done. 
since it is motorized, you can fine tune the angles. Before actually using the 70My Omni, it has to be activated, which only works through the smartphone app and is a one time activity. I know that some people have a problem with such kind of activations, but together with the inconvenience, there are a number of advantages. The app also has a detailed guide about the installation and some more tips and tricks. As usual for dash cameras, 70My Omni is going to power on together with the car's engine and automatically begin recordings. If you also need parking surveillance, you have to connect the hardwire kit. It's a bit more complicated, but 70My have a fairly good tutorial about it, which I can link in the video description area. Now we can analyze some samples and talk about the actual image quality. I like a lot what I see. Notice all the details, the excellent exposure, the good and balanced contrast, 1080p recordings with more than 20 megabits per second bitrate. This is quite high and means that there is a lot of data in these recordings. Night footage? Hell yeah, it's good. The image sensor indeed does a great job and the bright optics contribute to the very good low light results, which is exactly what we would want from a dash camera. I wish there was a higher resolution option than just Full HD, but it's a fact that if a 4K sensor is being used with the same size, the low light quality may suffer due to the pixel density. So my opinion is that 70My Omni has hit the sweet spot about image quality here. You will for sure want to see any of the commands. Shoot left or right. You can quickly turn to the left if a police officer pulls you over hands-free or take a selfie, or a photo, or shoot a vlog. Hey, the last one is quite fun and helped me to test the microphone. You're interested in an audio test? Well, this is the microphone quality of this 70My dash camera. Pretty nice option, panning is supported. And you can do it while you're driving, or you can use the voice commands in order to change the direction of recording. That's pretty neat. The camera configuration can partially be adjusted via the physical buttons. You may just enable the Wi-Fi connectivity and do the rest from within the app because it's much easier. 70 might have slightly enhanced their smartphone application. Most of the time it looks like the same as before. Clean interface, snappy experience, no unnecessary clutter. I've kept most of the defaults, just configured the clips to be with 3 minute duration. Such a file has a size of 520 megabytes. This means that the available 32 gigs in my case are going to be able to store around 3 hours worth of footage. Also, ADAS is available, Advanced Driver Assistance System, warning you in case you're about to leave the lane or in case of vehicles being too close in front of your car. Caution, front car. Thanks to the excellent AI capabilities of 70My Omni, ADAS here works very well. And since tracking is a thing, yes, there is motion detection, so finally we have parking surveillance mode triggered by moving people or objects. The other nice function that I like is that for the emergency events, the camera is smart enough to also include the two seconds prior to the accident, if it has been buffered already. While testing, I've been more than happy with the overall performance. Still, as a tech reviewer, I do have my opinions about how a product can become even better. So, to the usual list with the drawbacks, we are going to note down the presence of a battery inside, as opposed to a supercapacitor option. Also, the shape and size, which are not as discreet as some of us wish they were. And probably the lack of 4K resolution, because it's a trend now. In the end, I think the 70My Omni is a very capable, innovative, reliable product which can easily be recommended. Uh, what do you think? Do you like the new shape? Do you think the features are good? What do you think about the footage? All of that, something we can talk about in the comments below the video. At the moment I work on this video, this product is still being crowdfunded, meaning that it still is at a price considerably lower than the retail price, but even if it's normal price, I think it's a very affordable product for the qualities that it provides. And by the way, there would be 100 red white units which look pretty decent. So hurry up if the deal is still on. Uh, I think it's a pretty nice choice. As usual, more information about the product and uh, link with the discount is going to be linked in the video description area. If you have any questions or you just want to say something, comments are down below. Thank you very much for watching this episode. I'm Michael. Wishes for a fantastic day. Drive safely. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye.